Have you ever wanted to have different development environments for each project without having to manage 20 Ubuntu containers? To simply put the packages you need in a list and have them delivered to you each time you need them while not polluting your user space. I'm not saying that Nix Shell is the best solution to this problem, but it might just be. To start using Nix Shell, you need to create a shell.nix file. This file should contain a function that takes a set with Nix packages. The Nix packages can either be provided when calling the function or taken from the system's channel. It is going to return the output of a packages.makeshell function, which itself also takes a set with some keys that describe the resulting development environment. Even like this, we can already launch our empty development shell by running nix-shell. You can also add it to a flake.nix file, either by importing it from the relative path or by declaring it straight in the system's devshell's default key. To enter your devshell declared in a flake, run nix-develop. Either way, Let's now take a look at a makeshell function and see what we can do with it. The most important key you can add here is native build inputs. Just knowing about this one allows you to create dozens of development environments with each one having their specific packages. Let's say that you have a project using Node.js. All we have to do is add it into this array. And we can also use this width syntax to avoid specifying packages for each element. Now, if we enter this development shell with nix shell or nix develop, we are going to be put in a shell with Node.js available. And as soon as we leave it, it's gone once again and won't pollute the user space. But the question I hear you ask is, why am I being placed in a bash shell? If you want to use your own shell, just use the dash dash command flag to specify the first command that will be run upon entering the development environment. I'll use the dash dash command zsh, which you can also shorten to just dash c zsh if you are using Nix develop. And now, I'm actually using the correct shell with all of my aliases and settings. But what if you have a much larger command that you want to execute, or one that every user of this shell should run? Then we can add a shell hook key and assign a multi-line string to it with this double single quote syntax. Inside, we can execute a variety of bash commands, such as displaying a greeting text, sourcing necessary shell files, and running other commands including those from Nix packages. If you are curious about the purpose of this syntax, I recommend watching a write shell script bin video on the channel. Now upon entering the shell, we will see the message and once again have access to our development packages. Another cool thing we can do is declare environment variables here. Let's say I have a color variable that I want to assign to color blue. While it is possible to just put it in the shell hook, you can declare it anywhere in the set just as you would do with any other field for the sake of readability. And you can also source other Nix files which could, for example, contain some vulnerable information. The password file here just contains a string and can be added to .gitignore. All of that is great, but because we are using Nix, we can go above and beyond and even declare the specific versions of any package from the past. For this to work, you're gonna want to use Nix flakes, and if you don't know what they are, feel free to check out the flake video on the channel. This isn't necessarily limited to Nix shell, and you can use it with any other flake-wrapped project. As you already know, you can define multiple sources in the inputs, but you can also define duplicate sources from different points in time. Yes, we are going to do some black magic time traveling and take a second Nix packages from the past. My recommended method of finding out previous versions of packages is this amazing nixhub.io website. It's originally built for DevBox, but we can also use it for our regular Nix projects. Let's say that we have a package that is only supported on a specific old version of Python. We can just search for Python, select it, and scroll to find out the desired version. Once we do, we need to copy this commit hash and a package name. We can now add it to inputs with this syntax, where you only have to replace the last part depending on your package. Make sure to add the triple dot and then add inputs after the outputs parameter, so we can use inputs anywhere in our flake. Now in the native build inputs, we can include this specific Python package by referring to these old Nix packages grabbing the correct system version, just like we did in the regular Nix packages up there, and defining the package name that we copied from Nix Hub. Every time you update this flake, your main Nix packages, like Node.js, will be updated, while this Python package will stay locked in time. But make sure to use the correct commit hash and package name, because Python package, for example, is nothing more than an alias, which points to different Python packages in different points in Nix packages lifetime. It could install Python 3.6 on one day and Python 3.7 on another after update. Luckily, everything is tracked with Nix flakes in a flake.log file, so you don't have to worry about that if you use them.
If you just want to get a shell with a couple of packages really quick, you can use Nix shell p on a node flake system and Nix space shell on a flake system. I want to cover the second one because using Nix without flakes just makes me sad. With Nix space shell, you can get some packages from Nix packages, different commits of it, and even from GitHub repos. The syntax is the same as inputs of a flake, so if you just want to try out some program, you don't have to add it to your NixOS configuration, or really any configuration. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We already have almost 2000 GigaChat subscribed to this channel, which is around two times more than I initially expected. Check out our Discord server if you want, and I'll see you in the next one.